All righty then. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Matthew Baker of Beautiful New York Tours. We have arrived at the final tour of round four. At the end of this tour, we will have hit the two hour mark and we'll be taking a little break. I have to admit, I don't know exactly when I'm going to be back. I think the break is going to be longer than the usual two weeks because of some things I'm going to have to work on in other areas of the tourism industry and especially uh, the work that I do with the Guides Association of New York City. Uh, speaking of which, any of you who don't know the Guides Association of New York City, please check it out at ganic.org. That's G-A-N-Y-C dot org. Uh, you'll find me there. You'll find a lot of my colleagues there. And it is the go-to organization for tour guides in New York. Uh, so they've been very good to me, and I like to hope that I'll be good to them and uh, definitely check them out. Anyway, um, we've certainly had a lot to talk about and a lot to think about this round. And I thought we should end on a happy note. So... It happened in New York. The year is 1931, and the place is Rockefeller Center. It is the middle of the Great Depression, and the construction workers who are building Rockefeller Center, the same men who will become quite famous for eating lunch on a girder, are worried that if they take any time off from work during the Christmas season, they won't get their jobs back. And in the middle of the Great Depression, no one can afford that sort of risk. So here are these blue-collar demolition crew, construction workers. A lot of them are Irish Catholic. A lot of them are Italian Catholic. Some of them are German and Russian Jewish. Uh, and it's also, of course, the time of Hanukkah, as well as Christmas. And everyone is feeling very down and out. That's why they call it a Great Depression. And they get together and they say, we have to work all the way through the holidays. That's not any fun. Let's pool our money and put up a Christmas tree in the middle of the construction site. They buy a balsam fir that's 20 feet high. Their families make garlands out of dried cranberries, little bits of paper. They pick up some tin cans here and there, and they decorate the tree with whatever they can find. And this is the beginning of the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. It is actually older than Rockefeller Center. It predates the opening of Rockefeller Center itself. Two years later, 1933, once Rockefeller Center is opened, the first official tree, sponsored by the Rockefellers, is erected on the plaza. In 1936, the ice skating rink below it opens, and the tree becomes an annual tradition. During World War II, it is decorated in red, white, and blue ornamentation, and it's not lit up in some of the darkest years of the war, pun intended, because of the blackouts uh, that were to deter air raids. Uh, so only ornaments, no lights during the war. The tallest tree came in 1999. By this time, the tree is almost always a Norway spruce. That doesn't mean the tree comes from Norway. It's a species of tree. Uh, the tree is virtually always uh, from the northeast of the United States, uh, as far west as Ohio, and as far north as one year they did get it from Ontario, Canada. And a shout out to my Canadian friends, that doesn't mean that they showed up in the middle of the night and stole the tree. Obviously, they got permission first. Uh, the tree is always donated uh, to the holiday festivities at Rockefeller Center. Today, a far cry from the tin cans and paper garlands of the construction workers and their families in 1931, the LED lights that decorate the sometimes as tall as 100 feet uh, Christmas tree, that was the one in 1999, was 100 feet, 
the lights occupy strands so long that if you were to fold a strand of lights in half and lay it from one side of Manhattan to the other, each end would wind up in the water of the two rivers. The Rockefeller Center Christmas tree is said to be designed as a gathering place for people to reflect on what is happening in the world around it. And never has that reflection been more significant than right now. Here is hoping that the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree and the festivities that surround it will happen this year. And if not this year, certainly next year. When it is safe to do so, please check me out at Beautiful New York Tours. You can search Beautiful New York Tours on Facebook or email me at baker.tours at yahoo.com. Again, that is baker.tours at yahoo. Thank you very much.